So far we've seen a couple of different ways of expressing the equation of a line. One of them is the slope-intercept form, which we know as y equals mx plus b. So m here is our slope, and b is our y-intercept. So we've seen that one before. We've also seen the general form of a line, which is simply the equation set equal to zero. So we have something x plus something y plus a constant equals zero. In this video we're going to look at yet a third way of expressing the equation of a line and it's called the point slope form of a line. And um, this one is very useful for writing the equation when we know a point and we know the slope. So if we have those two pieces of information from the line this is an excellent equation to to use to come up with the equation of the line. It's also one that's very useful in in calculus and uh, so maybe some of you will later on take calculus. Um, this, this equation, the point slope form of a line, is, is one that's very useful to us because we often know a point and we often know the slope of a line when we're working with uh, tangent lines in calculus. You've also seen this one before. Slope is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. Or another way of writing this is y2 minus y1, that's the change in y, divided by the change in x. Okay, so you've seen, you've seen that equation before too. Slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now if we took this equation and we decided to multiply both sides of it, so I'm going to times both sides of it by x2 minus x1. I'll just erase this one here now to give me a little more space on this side. So I'm going to times the right side by x2 minus x1, and I'm going to multiply the left side by x2 minus x1, because what we do to one side of the equation we have to do to the other. Then these two would cancel each other out, and we'd have a new equation that looks like this. Uh, and that's just come from our slope slope equation where we've gotten rid of the denominators. Now I'm just going to swap sides of the equation here because usually we like to have the y's on the left side. And I'm just going to write this in a different order too here. So just move this these terms to the left side, move those terms to the right side, just change it around. And I wrote the m first because usually we like to have the number out in front of the brackets. And then so the y2 and the y1 and the x2 and the x1, they represent two different points that would be on the line. Well, if I make y2 and x2 just generally any y value, then this is just simply another way of expressing um, this equation that we have here. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 would be an equation of the line. And in fact, this is the point slope form of a line. Whoops. I'll just show you this here. So say we had a line right here. And let's say this point was the point x1 comma y1. So some value here. And then some point farther along the line with some unknown x values, we'll say x comma y, this would be your would be your general point or any other point on the line. So this point here and this point here, we could say that the slope is equal to y minus y1 divided by x minus x1. So this here represents a point on the line, and this m represents your slope. And so in this equation, well, now that we have you know, multiplied both sides by x minus x1 and so on and moved a few terms around. If you know the slope, you can put the slope in here. And if you have a point, so if you have a point, say some x value, we'll call that x1 and some other y value, you can put your whoop, x value in here and your y value in here. And we would have the uh, equation of the line. So when we have the slope, and we have a point, all we have to do is put the slope here, put your point in here, your x value here, your y value here, and we'll have the equation of our line in point slope form. I'll show you some examples like that.
So I've written again the equation here of our line, the point slope form. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, where m is our slope of our line and x1 y1 represents a point that would be on that line. So if we were asked to find the equation, let's say find the equation if the slope is two-thirds and line goes through, let's pick a point here, let's say the point one comma four. Well, y minus y1 equals slope x minus x1. So I need my y value, that's 4 from the point. I need my slope, that's 2 thirds. And then x minus my x value, which is, which is 1. And so this would be the equation of the line. And that's perfectly fine to write the equation in, in that form. That's an acceptable form for writing the equation of the line. There's no need to isolate y. There's no need to set it equal to 0. Those would just be writing it in y equals mx plus b form or general form. And um, if we're just asked to find the equation of a line, this is, this is an acceptable form as well. Um, just keep in mind that this equation here does come from this slope form. This is where this, this equation actually comes from. It's just this equation rearranged so that we don't have a fraction in it. Um, you can, should be able to see the resemblance here. There's the m, there's the m. Multiply both sides by x2 minus x1 is going to give you this equation here. So that's the po point slope form of a line. Let's look at another example here. Say we're asked to find the equation of a line that goes through these two points. 2 minus 1 and 4, 3. Well, we can't actually use our point slope for p form of a line uh, directly because we have a point, that's fine, in fact we have two points, we only need one, but we also need to have the slope m, and we don't have that, at least we don't have it yet. But remember, we can always find easily the slope of a line if we have two points. Slope is the change in your y values divided by your change in your x values. So we just need to subtract the two y values and subtract the two x values and we'll have the slope. So y2 minus y1, we'll subtract these two y values. So three minus, gotta be careful here with our negative signs. So this number minus this number. So three minus minus one over four minus two. And it doesn't really matter which one you, you start with here. I could have gone negative one minus three as long as I then went 2 minus 4. So if you start with this point and subtract this one, make sure your next one is to go this divided by this. The other mistake that sometimes students make is they don't do the y values divided by the x values. So make sure you start with the y values first, subtract them, divided by, then you subtract the x values. So I went this way, 3 minus minus 1. So now I need to go 4 minus 2. So 3 minus minus 1, that would be like 3 plus 1, which is 4 over 4 minus 2, which is 2. So my slope would be 4 over 2, which I can simply reduce to 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, or 2 over 1. So this is great. Now I have m, I've got my slope, and I need that in the equation. And then I also need to have a point. And I can pick whatever point I want. I'm actually going to pick these, this, these two points, because they're both positive, and I like to work with positive numbers. So my equations y minus y1 equals the slope x minus x1. And so my y value, I was going to pick this one, so 3 equals the slope, which is 2, over x minus the x value, which is 4. So y minus 3 equals 2, x minus 4 would be the equation of the line in point slope form. Now, of course, if I wanted to write this in y equals mx plus b form, we can do that. Okay, so this is point slope form. And if I want to convert that to y-intercept form, all I need to do is multiply everything in the brackets by 2 here. So that's 2x minus 8. And then, remember, 
the y-intercept form is in this form, y equals mx plus b. So I need to isolate y. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides now. And I get y equals 2x, negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. So this would be the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So slope I know is 2, we knew that already, but now I actually know what the y-intercept of the line is. The y-intercept is, is minus 5. And then of course if we wanted to write it in general form, general form needs to be like this, something x plus something y plus a constant equals 0. So if I'm starting with my point slope form, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to multiply everything in the brackets by 2, 2x two minus 8, this times this, this times this. And now I'm going to bring everything over to, actually I'm going to move everything to the right side because remember one of the criteria is this number here has to be positive. So it's already positive on the right side, so I'm going to leave that 2x there. And instead I'm going to minus y from both sides, so minus y, and add 3. That'll get rid of these things. Negative 8 plus 3, negative 5 equals 0. So setting everything equal to 0, we get this. And now I might write it like this because we do like to have all of these terms equal 0. So 2x minus y minus 5 equals 0 would be the equation of that line in general form. And so you should be able to take, take the point slope form, write it in y equals mx plus b form, the slope intercept form, or write it in in general form as well. And that's just doing a little bit of algebra and moving some terms around. So just summarizing here again, the point slope form of a line is y minus y1 equals slope x minus x1. And obviously in order to find the equation of this line, since it's called the point slope form line, we need the slope and we need a point. And so m is your slope, that's where your slope will go in the equation. And once you have an x value and a y value, the x value will go here and the y value will go here. And we will have the equation of the line in point slope form.